This is Eddie's Acres. Come with me and I'll give you a tour. There's Pearl and Elvis. They help with pest control and fertilization. We have two different types of crotons. Those are the croton mammies. And they have like curly spiral leaves. And then we have the croton petrus, and they have the broad leaf. We have Monstero Swiss cheese. And the reason they have these slits in the leaves is because they are grown originally, you know, they come from the understory of a tropical rainforest, so they don't get a lot of light down at the bottom. And these holes are so that the sun can penetrate down below and the other leaves can get some light. And they can photosynthesize <laughs> next to it. We have some flax lily, variegated flax lily. Very beautiful, ornamental. This is a succulent called um, Pink Cadillac or a Crown of Thorns because it has some pretty good spikes on the stem. But beautiful little pink flowers. This is a variegated, variegated alocasia. It's got the variegation in the leaves. What I just absolutely love is that the variegation actually goes all the way through the stem. Just beautiful. We have some ZZ plant. It's from Zimbabwe. It's getting a little bit too much water, and that's why it's turning yellow on some of the leaves. It's been awfully rainy here lately, and these things are very drought tolerant. Uh, they don't like too much water. So, But they're evergreens. They look like a succulent, kind of a rubbery leaf. This is yucca stump. This is society garlic and uh, very fragrant. A lot of people use it as a herb. One of our hottest sellers, it's a Diffenbachier, Diffenbachia. This one's called Amy. It's a cultivar. It's just like a cousin of the Diffenbachia. They're all Diffenbachias, all in the same family, just uh, different cultivars. That's Thelma and Louise, just always begging for food. This is called a Clarodendrum uh, Starburst. It has really beautiful flowers that look like a starburst. We've got that purple underside of the leaf that is just gorgeous. Fast growers. This is a giant Borneo. Likes water, doesn't like shit, or doesn't like the sun. We have it underneath the, the canopy of the trees to kind of block it. But it does love some water. It's been raining lately, and this thing is just loving it. This is a Norfolk pine. It's about eight feet tall right now. Very beautiful, stunning showpiece. It will get extremely large. It's drought tolerant, salt tolerant. You see them on the beaches a lot. This is pineapple guava. It's a bush, or being grown as a bush, but you can grow guava as a tree. This is strawberry guava. It's grown as a tree. Pretty large. This one's about as big as the Norfolk, so it's about eight feet, maybe even bigger because of that stem right there. But These are small, baby Chinese fan palms. They really don't look like much when the leaf first comes out. It's just like one of these, but as they get older, they start to split and actually form something that does resemble the shape of a palm frond. Some more of my farm workers. These are foxtail ferns. They're kind of fun to look at. 